This is day 37 of my six mark challenge for AQA GCSE Science. In the run up to the exams, every day from Monday to Saturday, I'm posting a new six mark question so that you can practice answering these extended response questions. There's a link in the description below to all of this week's questions and also the playlist containing all of the videos so far. Today's question is about vaccination, but before you dive in and try to answer it, I just want to remind you of a couple of quick things. Firstly, even though you're going to be given a whole sheet of A4 to write your answer on, this is not an essay question. You don't get any marks at all in GCSE Science for your spelling and grammar or writing in paragraphs or even in full sentences. So I would strongly encourage you to write in bullet points because this is going to help you to lay out your answer clearly and make sure that you're answering in a logical fashion rather than just waffling on. It's going to make your examiner's life easier and you're not going to lose any marks at all for doing it. The other thing I want to remind you of is that you need to answer the full question. So make sure that you have read it in detail and that you have answered all the different parts of it. Now, if you haven't done so already, pause the video and give yourself six minutes to answer this six mark question. One of the really frustrating things as a science teacher is that often students who are really interested in science will have read material that goes beyond the GCSE specification and they could write something that, although it is technically true, isn't included in the GCSE spec and therefore they don't get credit for it. And I can really see this being an issue in 2022 for vaccination questions because previously students really only knew about them from the GCSE biology studies. But now lots of you will have read things about the COVID-19 vaccinations and unfortunately they are a type of vaccine that isn't covered by the GCSE specification. So just be aware that when you're answering this question you want to be doing so from the point of view of your biology lessons and not any external reading that you might have done. So the first thing that we're going to say is that a person is going to be injected with a vaccine that contains either a dead or an inactive pathogen. So you're not going to talk about RNA vaccines like the COVID vaccines because that's not something that's covered in the GCC specification. Then we're interested in what the human body is going to do in response to the vaccine. So the white blood cells, or more specifically, a type of white blood cell called lymphocytes, are going to produce antibodies and make sure that we're writing antibodies and not antigens because that's different. And those antibodies are specific to that pathogen. In fact, they're actually specific to the antigens on the outside of that pathogen. In other words, the little protein bumps that say this is this particular kind of bacteria in this case. So then that's just a short term response, but longer term, the memory cells are going to remain in the bloodstream. Then if you're reinfected, so if you meet that pathogen again, those specific antibodies are going to be produced much more quickly than they were initially because the memory cells already know how to make them. So you don't have to go through that sort of trial and improvement procedure that happened when you were first meeting that pathogen for the first time. In addition, the antibodies aren't just produced more quickly, but they're also produced in much greater numbers. And also they're going to persist in the bloodstream for longer. So they're going to hang around for longer. So even if you've just met one pathogen, you're going to be protected after that for a longer period of time. Now, all of that adds up to mean that the bacteria that you're meeting during that reinfection are rapidly killed. And that happens before you can become seriously ill again. So you're getting a mark for talking about what is in the vaccine, a mark for mentioning the white blood cells or naming specifically that it's the lymphocytes rather than the phagocytes, a mark for the production of specific antibodies, make sure you have that word specific, a mark for talking about the memory cells, separate marks for antibodies being produced more quickly or in greater numbers or persisting for longer. I would say that that last one is kind of the third thing that you want to write, the other two are more important. And then depending on the year and the mark scheme, you may also get credit for talking about the fact that the reason that you don't become seriously ill is because all of the bacteria are killed off. But I would really say that those last two points are kind of the least too important. I would want to get the first six down there first. For tomorrow's question, we're back with chemistry and the structure and bonding topic. Don't forget that you can find a link in the description below to all of this week's questions and also to the playlist containing all of the rest of the videos in the series. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you back tomorrow for more of the six mark challenge. If you have found this video useful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more GCC science videos coming soon.